Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where when we last left off, I had just asked the question, how much more of this place could I take? And that is a key hint for what is to come. This episode's actually a really big turning point for my character, and Far one that uh, took me uh, by surprise, but not in a bad way necessarily. So I hope you all enjoy, and the video will start in a moment. I realize we have larger goals and whatnot. Can I talk to him? Piss off! Ha! Huh. Uh, what's with the hostility? I heard the piss pot! Ah! Oh. You're a true soul! Same as near! So like I said, piss off! How are you still alive? Um, You look like you're in trouble. Surely I can help you! You want to help me? Then open those ears and listen close. Piss the drug off! Last chance. You want me to kill the slavers or not? Let's see. <laughs> Difficulty five. And I critted! Oh my gosh. What about piss off, do you? Hold on. You aren't just talking shit, are you? Then shh. Keep it low. Don't let them They're hear They're right you. next to us. Now why in the hottest hells would a true soul be helping me? That's the- I didn't know if I should say this because the people are right next to us, but uh... What should I say? I just love killing. Uh, no one should serve a master. You deserve to be free. Well, I think- I am not really a true soul, so let's uh, let's, let's get that out the gate. Fine. Let's say I believe you. You want to kill these peckers? I'm not complaining. But you better finish the job, because I'll be the one to suffer if you don't. <clears throat> Ain't you hearing me, prickhole? Piss off to every last hell. Sure thing. Oh, let's see if I can get a Darian in place. It, well, these people are in pairs. <laughs> that guy doesn't have his baby spiders anymore. Maybe I have a Starian go over here and start with these guys, but I don't know if um, if I will be able to. What's that? This. this. So I'm a little weak concerned. This will occasionally say words like sad. And he's like, what's that, this? And he's like, this. So I don't know if this is a bad guy, but he is pushing the bodies off. But he's also obviously not fully, like, cognizant. Like, I don't know, cognizant sounds the right word. But he has, like, a, like a learning disability Damn of some boy. sort. Attacked someone. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. Let's see. Intimidation, deception. I was swatting away an insect. Any contact was entirely accidental. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> yeah! Give me an extra sneak hit in. That's why I want to do it. They believe you. For now. But something tells you they won't be so receptive to your charms again. Uh-huh. No! He just healed himself? He can do the- You attacked someone. Mm -hmm. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one- Let's just go. Let's just go. Um, is Karlak technically involved? Right, Karlak, it's go time. She is. Okay. Um, so far it is just these two, which is good. Whoa! Down to two health. Oh my. Owie. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna rage. What? What 
in tarnation. Yeah, end it. Oh, beautiful. Easy. Never worried. Not worried. Not at all. Okay, well, we are going to maybe slowly whittle them down because, yeah, no, I've decided I'm done. These people are... They are... Despicable. Hello? Hey! What? So, are you yeah. beings or just losing your mind? <laughs> the echoes, listen. They're coming from three directions. Losing your mind is uh. probably the tadpole. The weirdest things seem to be. Uh, they're not even connected in the same group, but because they're close together, they're having uh, they're having dialogue. That's cool. Um Let's crouch. Okay, well, that's that. I don't want to loot. Well, maybe. Uh, okay. If they have stuff on their body, like, um. Deep nose. Yeah. Killed under the They have, like, slavers. identification stuff. Uh. Take the lie that those are two cures. Okay. Yeah. I don't want your money. I just want any identification. How do I uncrouch? <laughs> not looting them of their stuff. Can I move, move your body? I just put... That body in my inventory, that's terrifying. Alright, no identification things. Actually, you know what? Soldier? Oh, I can't throw. I was gonna be like, alright, you like being thrown, you throw your dead bodies into the wilderness, so be it. That Careful. thing. I buy it. Uh, let's say it again because I want to unlock this door. Yeah, okay, listen. Should be easy. Should be, are you sure? Okay. Oh wow, yes. Okay. I guess I shouldn't maybe go in there yet. Yeah, we ain't talking no more, no more, no more. <coughs> One of them went. All right. I did manage to apparently AOE myself into the uh, acid, I think. Invisible! Okay, that was much easier than I anticipated. A mug of beer. Oh, um. Okay, let's have me read it. I won't give in. Am I? I am. I'm maimed. Why am I? Why was I maimed? Oh, here I am. Ouch! You're not going to use fireball. That's a little bit excessive. Actually, what a day. if yes, let's. Oh come on! I, I guess I did. He wasn't crouched. Dang it! Yay! Ow! They do hit pretty hard. Okay. What? Feels like I've lost something. What? Shit! You did it. What now? Excuse me, oath broken. What? Under what circumstances just now did I break any oaths? Attacking people that haven't attacked me yet. Is not an, an oath of the ancients thing. That's like an oath of devotion thing. Oh. And these people are bad people. 
This actually might be exactly what I was looking for, honestly, because I was tempted to do the Oathbreaker route, where it's like I've done what I feel is a good thing, you know, I'm helping to free the Deep Gnome, at least I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not, sure, not just going to be able to walk away with them, you know, trying to free the Deep Gnomes. And, but I don't know what I've done against nature down here. I'm for a What now? Take the lift to the surface? I don't know. I don't know why it latched on the gale, too. Find somewhere to hide. I know a place. Cross the lake. Should be safe. Won't be needing this poison. Now that you've off the pricks. Bet you'll find it handy, though. You're a good one. I won't forget it. A spasm grips your <gasps> chest. Your strength <gasps> falters. An emptiness <gasps> grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. What? You have broken your oath, Paladin. How? At the close of day. I will be waiting for I you legitimately don't know how to discuss. You can You can't just tell me that and then expect me to go my merry way. I am uh, by I am absolutely going to bed right now. I don't know if I want to go through with this. I got to see what it's going to play out as. I don't know if just going to camp will trigger it. No? Okay. We got to go to Betty Bye. Seems simple enough. I totally left my companions uh, high and dry. Uh, hang on. I don't know if they'll get the benefits of the. They should get the benefits of the long rest without me. I. I. Uh, yeah, uh, long rest. Yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, time to go. I gotta see how this is gonna play out. Auto select 52. Are you nuts? Excuse me? Ah, oh, I think Asterion has it. Why didn't I get- He said on upon end of day. That doesn't- What? <coughs> I'm actually, like, really torn up. I did not think- I chose Oath of Ancients on purpose because it was one that I liked the most out of the three. And it was like, well, if I stick with the Paladin Oath, then I'll, I want to stick with one that I like, right? But I really did want to kind of play an oath breaker, but one who is essentially like questioning their faith, right? One who, who like tries to do the right thing for the right reasons, or maybe a wrong thing for the right reasons, I don't know. But, all right, will you? Ha! Huh? I, but now I, can I not? I can't use my oath charges I mean, I can still heal. That's a, those are spells I have, but I can't use this one. You should go to camp. I, I don't understand. You should go to camp and contemplate what happened and what comes next. Okay, go to camp. Is he standing around? Maybe I just didn't. Is he like around somewhere? Wow, we are camping in like the coolest spot, by the way. Oathbreaker night. He is just chilling in the corner. He is chilling. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like not manifesting in my dreams. He's just by everybody else. He's just chilling. I. Uh, I have been waiting. What happened? I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your. Bond. Is that what it was? You called to me. I am here to show you the way. What did I do? The way to what? A journey with no end. 
trodden only by the desperate and the He dark. matches the surrounds. It is a path I have walked since the moment I fell. Now you will walk it too. Oathbreaker. <gasps> you swore to protect life itself. Okay, okay. To serve the natural order, to protect those who value life and vanquish those who would Yeah, I killed some slavers. Tell me. Why did you abandon your own? I killed some slavers. Yeah, it was not my intention. My actions had unexpected consequence. I mean, I think she's kind of been questioning some things, right? But like... The, blah. And my dog and my bear just back there. Um... I guess uh, I had no choice. Well, I had no choice as a dumb one. Um, you always have a choice. To act, to follow it was to act against my conscience. But what do you mean? I was supposed to protect people, the natural order. I was supposed to protect the natural order and the people who believe in it. Killing some D Durgar was, who are slavers. Like how, I mean, I get that killing people that you've like, maybe I think for devotion, it's like killing people that you've talked your way into is a way to break your oath. Um, so the easiest oath to break is actually the oath of devotion, as far as I know. Um. Uh. I mean, do I want her to be like, I had no choice, or should I just be like, straight up, I did not, yeah, I did not mean to. My actions had only, which again sounds like a whiny baby, like, I didn't know that killing people would have consequences, but here we are. A lapse in judgment. Yeah! To know the reason for your fall is perhaps to know the shape of things to come. I even oath of ancients Take the spiders in your undoing. I like you abandoned my Why course. are you Scottish? But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. I am, wow, this was, I did not, I did not expect this to come from this quarter, let me tell you, um, what oath did you swear? I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name... I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, such sacrifice. But his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led see, me down. See, this is what I want. For myself. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So I ended him. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. So he swore. There's I can't remember. There's a name for it. The oath of. Uh, something or other where you actually swear to a like a a, a a liege instead of like a a deity um but uh, this is what i want right where like you start to question your oath or like the the deity or the person that it's attached to because you're like hey this seems a bit actually like going against like a more general moral code you know what i mean it's like something feels wrong here and if me killing slavers goes against my oath i'm a little mind boggled by that did you know what it meant to break your oath like that i knew the consequences would be worse for those he continued to harm what's past is past 
We are here to discuss your future. So, like, using powers that are some sometimes deemed more evil, um, but for as a force of good, you know? Where it's like, you fall from grace, but whose grace is it really, right? Like, just because, like, you know... Oh, I can think of, like, so many... I think, like, Elden Ring, what little I know of that. Like, the Erd Tree has its grace that it bestows upon people, but some people don't get it for, like, apparently no reason or whatever. And, like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's a lot more complicated than that. But it's, like... I don't know. Like, when you start to question, like, the norm, right? Where, like, you're, like, there are other options, you know? Um, there were other belief systems before the Erd Tree was there, you know, that still have merit, you know? But the Erd Tree is like, no, no, bad, you know? So it's like a societal almost thing, right? Like, like questioning the over the overarching narrative and being like, hey, hey, we have other options, and then being told no, you know? is like It's like, mm, and so then so that's where you kind of get your anti-heroes and stuff sometimes, right? Um, what did you achieve after abandoning your oath? I wielded the powers of darkness. Yet yes! Yet candle for those who needed the Yes, exactly, my brother! My actions followed no teaching, apart from my own justification. Good or ill, I made my choices. Eventually... I heard the call of others who had strayed. I showed them the way. As I show you now. Um, tell me more about these powers. Darkness will obey your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. Oh! Besides the cracks in your armor, they yearn to be used, to be inflicted. Oh, he is very convincing, honestly. A paladin to a T, right? Very charismatic, convincing. I do want to ask, is there any way to reclaim my oath? I know there is. I don't As far as I know, though, the method, less than stellar. It is possible. But such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed, and your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained, and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. Um, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um... I mean, this is what I wanted, but I guess in true oathbreakery type fashion, you couldn't. I couldn't really craft it. Also, like this couldn't. It couldn't just be like a one-time offense. I think there's like three invisible, like instances essentially. Like there's the, the, they keep a they keep a tally, and as far as I know, and I don't think this is just hearsay, but you have three instances where you well two two instances where you can kind of break your oath, um, but then on the third one you become an oath breaker. And I don't know if that's true or not, if that's hearsay. Um, but, uh, yeah, it does kind of make sense where it's not like immediately you're like, oh no, you're down, you're down, blah. You know, it's like, oh geez, what? You know, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I made one mistake. But if you keep doing things, it adds up, right? Uh, your deity can forgive you twice, but not three times. Your oath, your code. Um, but yeah, like, I was thinking, maybe I'll have to, like, intentionally manipulate it in some way, but this is actually, this works out way better, <laughs> like, this works out much more naturally. But I'm still, like, uh, because, like I said, like, and maybe the, I didn't really think about it, but, like, losing my Oath of the Ancients, like, that was the one I liked, but it, so that's why I didn't really, I was like, maybe I should do Oath of Devotion, because then I'll feel less attached to it, but actually picking an Oath that I'm attached to and then losing it hits a bit, hits a bit harder, you know? Uh, it's a lot more impactful. Um, let's at least see, right? The thing I don't like is that you can apparently get your oath back with, um, money. And I don't really like that. Like, I don't really like that. Uh, so let, me, let me enunciate. Um, I would prefer that you'd have to do actions, you know, like three actions. That, um, again, an invisible kind of tally, right? Which may maybe be more frustrating, but an invisible tally of you, like, going out of your way to, like, reaffirm yourself to your oath, right? I feel like there should be actions taken. Like, just 
money, like, I don't know, giving money to him or money to the god or deity or ideal, like, that's, a, that's weird, like, money, I don't know, maybe that just shows the flaw of the system, right, where it's like, maybe that does only reinforce the fact that you're like, I'd rather be an oathbreaker because, um, if money's all it takes to get my oath back, like, I don't like that, I don't like that system, you know what I mean? Like, as a paladin, you're like, I don't like whatever system supports a deity or ideology that where money fixes your problems. Like, the Catholic Church, where you could throw money at the Catholic Church, I don't know if they still do it, but back in the day, you could throw money at the Catholic Church, and they'd be like, yeah, your sins are forgiven, yeah, 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 I can't remember, there's a word for it, and I can't remember, but it's like, straight up, really? Like, really? You're like, yeah, yeah, God totally cares about money, he totally, totally loves getting a bunch of money, it's like, Mm, that feels very weird. <laughs> that feels not true. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Wow, I am done stalling. Let's 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 do it. And I I wish I I do kind of wish I'd been more of an intentional oath breaker than an accidental one because it feels kind of like lame and almost anticlimactic to be an to be an accidental oath breaker. But like, if she has a minute to sit with it and be like, I do I did what I felt was right. And even if she doesn't get a true explanation on why, maybe that's, that's another thing where she's like, I don't even know what I did wrong necessarily. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why my deity or my oath or ideology or whatever abandoned me when I felt I was doing something I should. And if they don't give me an explanation, like, why would I want to continue to follow them? But anyway, I'm, I will become an oath breaker. Do not resist. No! Surrender. And be remade. I don't know. I mean, I do know, but wow, I'm scared. <laughs> the born of a vile source. These powers can be used for good or ill. Okay, Magma Man. Your oath no longer binds. What a weird. You. The choice is yours alone. What a weird state for her to be in, I feel. That would be hard. I feel like it would be hard. Especially if you're questioning and you're not fully, like, out of... You're not, like, fully out of the, like, whatever mesh that you've been entwined in your whole life. You know what I mean? Like, the, the whole... Your belief system, like, if you're just, if you're questioning it, not, like, totally, like, trying to yeet yourself out of it, like, this would be really difficult. And, like, she feels, she felt it. She felt something break inside her. And that's gotta be rough. I'm level six. Oh, my. Spiteful suffering. Necrotic delayed. And attack rules ha against it have advantage. Okay. That's a channel oath. Control the undead. Use the power of your oath to gain control over any undead creature. The undead will follow you around and attack your enemies. So do I get to raise the dead? Or no. I get to... If there's like an undead around, I can be like, hey, you're mine now. Dreadful aspect. I remember reading about this when I was crafting like my own version of a paladin for like a like an actual D&D &D game or like a little story that I wanted to write. Dreadful aspect was interesting. When your darkest emotions burst forth as a menacing pulse to frighten nearby enemies. My oath spells are hellish rebuke. Nice. And inflict wounds. Whoa. And I get crown of madness and darkness. Love that. But I still can have access to these. Okay, it's just my channel is different, but I am still a paladin. Ooh, let's do this one. Possibly frightens your targets. That fits with the, uh, the... Oathbreaker. Dang! Dang! Wow, 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 wow. Well. I don't know how long these episodes are gonna be. This feels precarious, having this magma ball here. Um, but, jeez, I, I wonder when I bring everybody back if they'll say something about it. But, I guess I'll call it here. This was, I'm gonna have to contemplate some orbs for a bit. Like, holy moly. I guess I could look it up to see, like, what it is I did. Like, hey, I killed the Durgar and, like, I got freaking oath breakered. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or, like, look up, like, I guess I could look up, like, what makes an Oath of the Ancients 
paladin lose their oath, and it would maybe list off instances. But, um, yeah. That is intense. Let's, so I've got, there it is. Dreadful aspect, spiteful suffering. Wow. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm going to have to go through with this and see how it goes. And if I don't like it, I, I can always go back, but I am... This is kind of what I was gunning for. It's just... It just kind of... By this point, I was kind of... By this point, I was like, I, I really like my oath, you know? I wonder if I'll get cool dialogue options for it at all. And I really hope the game does lean into the fact that you can be good or evil with this. You know what I mean? Like, you can do good, you can do evil, but no longer will I have to worry about my actions being constrained by a deity or ideology. It's just me and myself, you know? Um, which I think would be really rough for her, but, like, also strangely liberating, like, in a guilty way maybe at first, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out, so... Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. This this is awesome. Um, yeah, so let's just... Wow. <laughs> I gotta say, thank you to my patrons. So thank you, patrons, one and all, for your support. I'd like to thank my Acorn tier uh, patrons, Adam and Fane. Thank you both so much for your support. I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout-out to Rieskelito, my sapling chair patron. Thank you so much for your long-term support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout-out to Christopher, my forest tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. You've gone above and beyond in your support of me and the channel, and I just cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.